manjo, pero I don't want a manjo with these photos. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, ooh la la. Okay, okay, okay. They need serious help here. Where's my mic? Laureta told me off. Should fix your mic. Mm hmm. How about that? Better? So, where do I start? Okay, I think they could have done maybe like a better job. Okay, it looks authentic because they are taking it like from Instagram, I hope. Uh, but. I mean, the colors are a bit off. The styling is obviously not great. It's just like blocked. It's like, I imagine the scene, right? It's like, hey, photographer, come take some photos. Here's some pasta for you. Blocked. Fetch. Now make good photos. <laughs> so I think the styling wasn't really done here. Uh, it looks like these are casual snaps that they took from Instagram or, you know, something like that. They didn't really put much effort into the photo shoot. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> Let's say these are not professional shots and they, yeah, they're just authentic. Of Yeah, yeah so what's the score? What's the score? No, I cannot. <laughs> so I can, uh, maybe two well, out of... Well, they have the location, so I guess they don't need any photos at all. Fair enough, fair enough. And maybe they're new, you know, they just opened yeah. and they don't really have budget for, uh, like, good photos. I hope that's the reason why. Maybe I should go speak with the manager and be like, Bello, what are you doing? What is this? Come on, you're uh, an Italian place. Just make good photos. But, uh, yeah, let's leave it at that and just go enjoy beautiful samples instead. Look at that. Bellissimo. First street. Oh, yeah. So, the, the, the walkie-talkie. That's London Fan Church Street. Exactly. AKA the walkie-talkie. So, the I most guess, like, famous. marketing wise, the location is good. Top notch. But is it worth it? Like, dun dun dun. So, let's go closer. Ooh, la, la. Okay, so there's a lot of things happening. In my opinion, the text is like so confusing. There from graphic design effect, like there's like way too many things happening and it doesn't like attract me. It doesn't pop, like I, I can barely read it. But Ooh, I guess... the bus. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so what's the, what's the score? What's the score? Eight out of ten. Because, okay, so personally, I really like him, but I don't like her hand. It's like, nah, what is it Yeah, for? it's almost like AI <laughs> I graded. Like, uh, at least he, he doesn't have six fingers. Well, that's, <laughs> that's true. But the hand position looks very unnatural. I don't understand what she's about to do. I wish she was doing something. Yeah, like at least like some kind of fork or something yeah. in the hand, like to make it more natural exactly. or so. And now we're covered. Hanging around and smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Italians and French. Uh. <gasps> what about this one? <laughs> this one is good. Sorry. I really like the colors in this But one. we're really on people's way. <laughs> But I really like the colors in this one. This is a tricky shot because I know that the light doesn't really hit the second, like, you know, the middle, middle plate there. Um, it looks like the light is coming from here. Uh, good direction. The colors are love. So that's the same cafe. See, si, but this is a better shot. I like this. It's a bit... Like, it's more balanced. The light is nice and fresh. Um, I don't... I don't know. I think I would have included the plate with the seconds. A little... Like, it looks very triangular, but too boring triangular. You know, it's like when you make triangles, you want to make some movement. So I would have actually placed that plate further up and in pretty much where the glass is and then move the glass so that the triangle didn't have perfectly um come si dice, like uh, same kind of length in the sides um, but apart from that which is like a minor thing i think this is a pretty pretty nice shot um i can see the white balance is a little bit off but i don't know if that's the printing the camera the light that we have now i can see like a little green on it but again it could be that vintage thing you were talking about earlier which i really liked uh, yeah it's quite a vintage cafe yeah. in general so it might be the white that they're looking yeah, for exactly ah. better yeah these are nice yeah, like these the styling are and everything all good the little job. details 
that looks a little bit like alien food. Uh, but apart from that, I think the package is damaged. Look yeah, at it. Yeah, it could be. Look at it. Well. It's like no, obviously, a little bit. I'm not talking about the blotches, like the splotchy yeah, yeah. things. I'm just talking about the overall color <laughs> of the yeah. photo. But like, I, what I really like here is the light. Like, I think the light because yeah, it's... like the shadows. Yes, the shadows keep some depth. And they trying to recreate morning light because obviously this is a beautiful breakfast scene. And so you know, when you wake up in the morning, the sun is low in the sky and it casts these very long dark shadows. So I think that's the vibe that they're going for. Is like morning, summer, Sunday morning. So I really like that uh, yeah and the styling of the drinks is absolutely stunning as well so good job here I can see a lot of grain in in the picture and I don't know if that's really bad quality printing or if it's really bad quality camera or if it's because they had to increase the post like the exposure or yeah, it's, it's quite just, green or if it's quite green as well yeah this is Alien green food. this is blue blue dominant this is also blue dominant very cool uh, that's also greenish and greenish yeah we're gonna go back to the office style filming <laughs> <laughs> I think this is gonna be the thing <laughs> mm, perfetto so I mean I it could have been done better. I don't know why they have this. It could have also be like, a, again, a creative choice that they gave it this kind of so -ho. dominance. Okay. So house. I know that this is quite like a big chain-ish. They have quite a few coffee shops. Oh, the yeah. styling is beautiful. Oh, yeah. So I'm guessing the budgets here were very decent. Um, I mean, overall, it's great. I think maybe it's a creative choice. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. So, yeah. Good job. This is yummy. <laughs> okay, so Laura's been ambitious. She wants me to critique Starbucks. Allora, let's see. Okay, so first of all, I personally know the photographers who shoot this and also the stylist who styled this. I am not gonna name names, so hi, it's me, uh, Julia. Uh, okay, vabbè, obviously Starbucks has massive budgets, so like photo shoots are really top notch. This is a compositing of several images I've shot for Costa, the competitor, so I know what is behind this this kind of shoots so actually the style is very simple I think obviously this might have been shot on white and then you know like the plopped on this background maybe by AI I'm not sure about that but like obviously the styling of these drinks is really complex and I think they've done a great job at you know like separating the layers and the, the thing about advertising as well is like they can't fake this so it would be super easy to just you know put some food green food coloring in shaving cream and be like there we go now you have a beautiful whipped cream on top but that's not allowed legally you have to use starbucks real products to do this so the styling here must have been like really tricky so i think the stylist has done an amazing job at uh, you know making sure that the topping is like nice and stays there and stuff again as i said there's lots of compositing here probably each of these has been shot uh, a gazillion times to get the perfect uh, strawberry here the perfect swirl in the coffee so mostly what i'm gonna critique here is the styling because photography wise it's a fairly simple setup there's backlight that makes the color pop okay i'm gonna have to say something I don't really like this image because I think <laughs> it looks like made with paint in 1998, you know, like <laughs> cut and pasted on like a background. The um, drinks looks like, look like they're floating on air uh, and the colored background. I don't know if this is done on purpose. It could be. Not sure. Uh, I don't know the brief behind this and the concept behind this, but it's like really grainy if you come in up close. So I think the styling is really beautiful and, you know, I don't know, nine, eight out of ten just because it's... Uh, I don't know, it's a tricky shot to critique. So we want to hear your opinion, like type it in the comments. Like, what do you think about this? So how would you have shot this? And Laura, what do you think about this? I like the minimalistic 
her face is like Meh. but I still <laughs> uh, I'm missing some character you know yeah basic character like if I like if there is a budget that much yeah the budget I think must there should been. be something like extraordinary right. obviously we don't know the budget so sorry but no, still, I kind of know the budgets <laughs> they're high <laughs> still <laughs> too like, high for I this. would expect more but again like it's always a creative choice and it's like hard to hard to say anything here true true come closer I'll show you all the grain on the background <laughs> <laughs> so heavy <laughs> okay this side is so much better i actually want to point out some really cool styling here okay <laughs> i think this is really sexy i remember when we were doing it uh, for costa this kind of marbling was really hard to get so i know how much work is behind this and i think they've done a great great job at styling this something else i want to share with you is like this is not a single shot this is probably Probably a combination of three or four shots so they've shot in my opinion they've shot the black coffee first then they shot the black coffee with ice so it's like in compositing in Photoshop they've done one layer for this black part then a second layer for the ice cubes and then a third layer for the marbling so I'm thinking they've spent maybe like the process behind this shot is like <laughs> you have the barista or the drink stylist they prepare like shit ton of just black coffees and then you go in for pours for hours you pour milk after milk after milk and you click 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 to get all of these is like marbles and then at the end it's like you pick the best marbling and you um, patch it on top of the black coffee so personally I think there's black coffee then another shot for ice cubes because you want to get the best looking ice cubes because of course there's such a thing so best looking ice cubes and the best looking marbling and then another shot for the white foam on top and then another shot for just the topping so so this is maybe like a compositing of four, five, six shots. And I think so the styling is done really, really well. Again, same concept goes for this shot and this shot. These are even more tricky because the white is at the bottom. So the, the coffee doesn't marble as well. Um, yeah, and these are also styled really well. This one is very well lit because you get both light on here and on here while keeping the texture alive. So again, with the background thing, I'm not too worried about that. But subject wise, the styling here is absolutely stunning. Good job. I know who you are. You get much love from me. Last one. I know we said we're hungry. Ta -da 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 -da. Come, because I think you guys could really benefit from sh me sharing this with you. Okay, the placement is not the best because obviously it's behind a pile of rubbish pins. Sorry How about the office ever. style filming. <laughs> However, so the placement of this ad is not the best. However, this is a kind of like, this is great, stunning restaurant photography. This is the kind of restaurant you want to work for because they appreciate good photos. They clearly hire very talented, amazing photographers. Like this is a stunning shot. I hope it's not stock because otherwise it falls apart. But I don't think it is. Like this is a really stunning shot. So is this, like the light on these badges. Oh, they're so three-dimensional. So, and that, like check this out, like really, shooting interiors like this is really hard because you have a really great balance of like highlights and shadows because the light is all coming from like in front of it so it's like it's a really tricky technical shot plus you have the human element the movement this is a stunning interior shot this restaurant really hires good photographers good job photographer whoever you are so when you look for restaurant clients you want to look for restaurants who value photography and these guys really do so great advertising shame for the rubbish stuff but uh, hey, hey can't have it all <laughs>